Hello friends, my name is Sahil Sokti and today my friend Vineet Mittal and I will be explaining you the concepts of minimization of DFA. Before I proceed further with minimization of DFA, let me tell you what it is. In computer science, DFA minimization is a task of transforming a given deterministic finite automata DFA into an equivalent DFA that has minimum number of states. This is divided into two classes unreachable states and non-distinguishable states. What are non-reachable states? Those states that are not reachable from the initial state of the DFA for any input string are called unreachable states. Whereas, those states that cannot be distinguished from one another for any input string are non-distinguishable states. Non-distinguishable states are solved using three algorithms. First is Hopcraft's algorithm, second is Moore's algorithm and the third is Brzezowski's algorithm. In Moore's algorithm, we have an advantage. It gives us minimal computation cost and therefore we will be solving the examples today using this algorithm only. This is our first example. Here capital Q as you can see is the state 0 and 1 are the input symbols. This arrow mark here is the initial state and star denotes the final state. Under capital Q, we have Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 which are the different states. Now, we will solve this example using Moore's algorithm. Step 1. In the first step, we will divide the states into final and non-final state. As Q4 has been given as a final state, we will put it under F category, whereas we will put Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 under NF category. Now, in the given table, we will denote every state by F and NF. As you can see that the first state Q0 is having a pattern of NF, NF, whereas Q1, Q2 and Q3 they have a pattern of NFF. So that means Q0 has a different pattern compared to its other members Q1, Q2 and Q3. So we will divide Q0 from Q1, Q2 and Q3. Before I proceed further there is a rule that we need to know. This rule states that once the entity is separated from the group it cannot be rejoined. Just remember this rule throughout our PPT. Now in the second step, as I told you, we will divide Q0 from its remaining states Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now we will redraw the table and mark the states by their new name. Q1 has been denoted as A, Q0 has been denoted as B, Q1, Q2 and Q3 have been denoted as C. Now put the corresponding alphabet in the table. Now we can see that Q1, Q2 and Q3 have the same pattern CA, CA and CA. That means it cannot be separated further. So in step 3 we will make Q1, Q2 and Q3 as Q1, 2, 3 and replace these states as Q1, 2, 3 in the table as I have done here. After this is done we will remove all the repeated rows from the table and we will get this as a final solution. Now my friend Vineet Mittal will explain you the second example. So here is the example 2. You can see that this is the question in which we have been given two final states Q3 and Q5 and rest are the non-final states. In front of Q3 and Q5 there is asterisk mark which states that these are the final states in front of the Q0, there is an arrow mark which states that this is an initial state. Now we proceed towards the solution. We mark the corresponding states as F and NF. You can see that Q3 and Q5 are the final states, so we mark it as F. And the rest of the states are non-final, so we mark them as NF. Now we go to the step 2. In step 2, among the non-final states, pick the states with the same pattern and group them together. Similarly, do that for final states. 
you can see that first and second equation are group 1 third equation is the group 2 fourth and sixth equation is a group 3 and fifth equation is a group 4 they are matched according to the pattern such as ff nf 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 f we give each of these groups different names such as A, B, C and D and we mark this as equation number 7. Now we redraw the table and the mark the states according to their group names. We again do the same procedure and see that first and second are the group 1, third is the group 2, fourth and sixth is the group 3, fifth is the group 4. We again give each of them different names such as A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. We mark this as equation number 8. Now we see that D group and the A group have the same pattern as before and same thing also happens with D group and A group in the previous step. So we see that they are the same groups so we give Q3 and Q5 as Q35 and Q0 and Q1 as Q01. We concatenate the numbers of the multiple states in the same group. As both steps gave us the same group, so we actually stop here and we don't proceed further. After concatenating the states, we mark uh, them according to the respective names in the table again and strike out the repeated rows. Here you can see that first and second is, are the repeated rows, so we strike out the second and fifth, similarly fourth and sixth are the repeated rows so we strike out the sixth now you can see the rest of the rows are the final answer here q01 is the initial state and q35 is the final state i hope you have understood the concept of minimization of dfa clearly